Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another exciting, exciting update and uh, it's a day that we've all been waiting for. So Unreal Engine 5.4 has been released. This is the preview one and there's so much that they've added into it, right? That we need to jump into. But first, of course, you need to install it and I'm going to walk you through real quick how to install it. First step is you need to go to your uh, Epic Games launcher go to the library over here. So if you already installed all these versions, you'll see an update like this highlight right here and uh, a lot that something is new up there. So click on this plus button right here and drop down and there you go. 5.4.0 preview is available right now. And actually I'm gonna go ahead and start installing it. Just click install and it's gonna give you a few markers here so this release is for testing only this release has not been fully tested and may be unstable do not use this release for the active development of projects additional information about this release available so yes for me i want to install it because i'm always willing to test some of the features now i know for sure that some plugins are not going to be working on this one but that's that's okay one thing that i want to try out is definitely the meta humans 5. Point, the, the 3.0 meta humans in 5.4 so go ahead and install. It's going to ask you where you want to put it. And I usually put uh, install it on my D drive, which is uh, an SSD drive, because I need to move to like to be able to transfer data real quick. And I've always found that it works best on an SSD drive. Uh, click install. And let's see, it's initializing. Uh, I want to see what this file size is going to be. But yes, so it's 26.6 gigabytes. <laughs> so if you have like a slow connection, uh, this might take a long time. And actually, if you click on downloads over here, you can see the progress and you can see like the data rate at which your, your Wi-Fi or if you have like a wired connection is going. And uh, this one, for me, it seems like it's going pretty fast, right? So I'm hoping that you won't have to wait as long, but if you do, I think it's gonna be worth it. Let's go back here. So once it's installed, we'll be able to check it out. But there's something else I wanted to point out as well. If you open Bridge, the standalone Quixel Bridge, right? And you click on the presets for UE5 and just pick any one of these, right? And then click on Start the MetaHuman Animator, MetaHuman Creator rather. It's gonna pop this up. It will take you to this and you notice what else is new guys there's a new version of metahuman so 5.4 so if you're going to be working in 5.4 make sure that you don't download characters that are made in 5.3 and below make sure they're all made out of uh, 5.4 so let's go ahead and do that and launch the metahuman uh, creator i keep saying metahuman creator so metahuman creator and let's see what else they've added if there's if at all there's anything new i've just finished watching the state of the union <laughs> it's the state of the union state of the Un unreal engine and they they showed this amazing amazing game that uh, i think it's 1943 the rise of hydra it was made entirely in the unreal engine 5.4 and in they showed it in real time just the special effects seeing able being able to do like volumetric snow and like volumetric smoke out of like this bean it's like it's incredible but also the meta human animator was used in the facial animation of the characters of the person that was playing captain america and the black panther so i want to see what else they've added here and something else that they've said they mentioned that they've added was uh uefn so there's uh there's this uh move that uh epic games is doing whereby they're imp trying to empower us as creators to use the uh, the epic games uh I, Unreal Engine for Fortnite and <laughs> UEFN. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Uh, let's see what else is new. So it says that you have to, you can, you need to upgrade the selected to active version because we selected 5.4. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one because I'm curious. Oh, by the way, if you see this one, uh, I'm working on a new film. I'm glad I actually this happened now because I wanted to see, let me actually ch choose Morpheus. I'm making a new a short film made with entirely metahumans. And this is a Morpheus that I made using the metahuman creator, right? Uh, let me upgrade him actually, because I want to see what he looks like 
in the new MetaHuman creator, if there's any anything new. All right, so here's Morpheus in 5.4 MetaHuman. I'll go ahead and edit the selected version. And so here we are. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna switch to Epic Ray Trace because I'm curious to see the quality. So this doesn't seem to be any different over here. In the interface, it seems to be the same, but let's go to shoes and see. So shoes are the same, bottoms are still the same, tops are still the same, proportions still the same, beard, mustache, eyelashes. So nothing really new in here, except that this is supported in Unreal Engine 5.4, okay? so. I'm glad we checked this out because I was really curious if uh, Epic Games had added any new clothing, but clearly nothing new here yet. But I, I watching the state of uh, the Unreal Engine, they mentioned that there will be some updates to UEFN with a Chaos Cloth simulation. So that there's something they've added that I'm looking forward to using. So let's go back to our, okay launcher so it's still loading so once it's loaded guys i'll be able to share with you the uh, some of the testing that I, i'm gonna do uh, but overall we're excited this is an amazing amazing day 5.4 has so many cool features that they've added and uh, i highly highly encourage you guys to check it out and let's talk about it i want to hear from you guys if you've already installed it i would love to hear from you and i'll uh, see you in the next video as i continue to test this uh, buy for now. Again, that's a, a quick way to install is just make sure you you have this, you open your launcher and then pre pre press this plus button right here and then you'll be able to find the new one 5.4. All right, see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.